really like being in the air and just like defying gravity for split seconds. You really have to be fearless and you have to have that really strong sense of mind and sense of self to be able to want to learn how to do new things. But it really takes somebody who's not afraid to try something new and not afraid to smack a couple times to, in order to get it right. I quit gymnastics when I was in eighth grade and my dad actually signed me up for diving but he signed me up without telling me so he put me in the car one day and was like, hey, we're going to swim practice. I was like, what? Once I got her on the board after that first two weeks of practice, I was like, we definitely have something special here. She wasn't afraid, very good body awareness from her gymnastics background and had a decent swimming background. I was struggling the first time because in gymnastics, one of the number one rules was do not land on your head. Like make sure that your feet hit first. So when they told me that I'd have to land on my head, I was very hesitant and it took me a while to get it. But after that, I realized that it was a lot like gymnastics. The aerial awareness helped that I knew where I was. So if I did mess up in something, I wouldn't like smack on my face. I could get it to my feet or to my hands, which helped a lot. It's a lot of work, obviously inside the pool with practicing and like repetitions of dive, but also like outside of the pool, making sure that you stay healthy. She had one of the best work ethics of anybody that I've ever seen. But I think it takes a special commitment because a lot of the time it's like smacking on your face, smacking on your back, smacking on your butt. So like you need to have the persistence to just keep going so you can get it directly. Diving is very mental and she pushes through those mental barriers as well as anybody that I have ever seen. A lot of the time my mind is blank because in gymnastics I would overthink and that led to a lot of issues. So I just kind of do all of my prepping on the pool deck. So I'll like go through the scale with hand motions and everything. And then when I get on the board, I just count to three and I just go. It's been an amazing journey just to watch her progress and watch her really get into it and seeing her maturity throughout the whole entire thing from freshman year to senior year. And she had her sights set pretty high. When I started diving, that was like the end goal for me to do it in college. We kind of laid out a plan that would be a good fit for her. I did club teams and double practices over the season and had like a continuous off season. She just kind of knew what it takes to get to that next level. Just getting to dive in college, which is a really big goal for me, which I get to do now. I committed to the University of West Florida.